Reporting here at the RCTV main stage for the Reading Fall Fair, we are here with David D'Arcangelo, who is running for Secretary of State. Um, nice David. to be here today. Thank yes. you for having me. Appreciate it. Good it's to see great you. Great to meet you. Good to see you. Good to see you today, David. Beautiful day out here today. We're making our rounds. We're actually just down in Melrose at their Victorian Fair as well. Okay. So mm -hmm. Perfect day for a fair. Oh, it what's really your, is. What's your favorite part of coming to the fair today? You know, I've been several times. I used to work for uh, our former state senator, Richard Tessay, Okay. and I'm friendly with Brad Jones. So I've been throughout the years I've been here. I used to work in Reading when I worked at EMARC. So I've been here. Uh, several times, so it's always good. I want to get a chicken pot pie, but the line is like so <laughs> long. I know they are delicious. They're it's so worth good. the line. It is, <laughs> it is worth it the is. line, absolutely, yes, yes. absolutely. Well, you know, you are running for Secretary of State here in, in Massachusetts, and maybe you could give us a, a your uh, two-minute or three-second spiel as to why you want to be Secretary of State for the Commonwealth. Sure, thanks. Yeah, it, it's great to be here in Reading today, and uh, it's David D'Arcangelo. I'm running for Secretary of State right now. I'm a Malden City Councilor at large. I've been a Malden City Councilor at large for two terms, and uh, I'm running to modernize an office and really bring transparency back to an office that's been operating the same way for 20 years. The guy I'm running against, Bill Galvin, he's been there 20 years. So it's time for a change, time to modernize an office, and I have the skills to be able to do that. I've been an election officer for the city of Boston, so I understand how to run elections well. I've worked in the state house. I worked for our former state senator, Richard Desai, as well as serving three governors before that. Mm -hmm. So I understand government very well. But yet I'm not a creature of Beacon Hill. I've worked in the private sector. I understand what it takes to, to make businesses thrive here in the state. And I'll tell you one thing. It's not having 40 pages regulations that we have right now. Right now, Massachusetts, we rank 46th in all states in terms of competitiveness when it comes to operating businesses with fees and regulations. Right now, we have 40 pages of fees that just keep increasing year after year. And that's something that the Secretary of State sets. So as your next Secretary of State, I'll look to streamline those. And the biggest thing, really, though, that I'm running on is transparency. Mm -hmm. uh, Massachusetts was given the grade of F when it comes to transparency in government. And don't just believe me, go to my website, daven2014.com. You can see that the National Freedom of Information Coalition gave us the grade of F. So I want to turn that F into an A. With all the talent we have here in Massachusetts, we shouldn't be getting an F in anything, let alone something as important as transparency in government. Well, that sounds good, and, and I hope that you have a good uh, time there on Election Day, and, and we'll look forward to seeing that. Anything, uh, any favorite parts of the fair that you've seen this year? Yeah, so far we've been making our rounds up here. Like I said, I was trying to get a chicken pot pie, but I love seeing all the community groups really taking part. Sure. Uh, it's really good to see that, even when we were just over in Melrose, too. So uh, these are important parts for the community to be able to get their message out. And uh, it's nice for me and all the other candidates that are here as well to be able to meet voters and stuff. So Excellent. it's just a beautiful day. How can you not love it? I mean, if we're on live, come on down and check it out. I'm sure everybody's pretty much been here. But uh you, a nice array of booths here from nonprofit organizations to people selling their, their wares. So, yeah. Okay, great. Well, thank you for uh, being on with us today, and uh, good luck on Election Day. And uh, we're going to turn it right back to thank our reporters so in the field. Take care. This is Appreciate it. live here from the Reading Fall Street Fair on RCTV.